You'll use keyframes to create a change over time. When you directly manipulate a resize in the effect preview monitor, Media Composer automatically adds a keyframe. If you're setting up or staging your effect, you'll want to delete this. Keyframes tell Media Composer two things. When you want a change to start and end, and what changes you want made. So you'll most likely add them in pairs. You can think of them as starts and ends of change, and the Media Composer calculates or interpolates the action in between. Now, let's look at another example. In this case, we want to simulate a camera zooming in throughout the entire clip. To do this, we'll add a keyframe at the first frame of the clip to set the animation start point and parameter values, defaults in this case. Then we'll move the position indicator to the end of the segment and set up the desired target framing. We can do this directly in the effect preview monitor, so we don't need to add a keyframe. It's added automatically. Then we can play loop to preview the zoom. Notice we stayed in effect mode the entire time. That's because all navigation took place in the effect preview monitor.